Finally, we are ready to prepare Marge's SOPA's income statement. We're going to use everything we've created thus far. The journal entries, the T-accounts, our job cost records, and our COGM schedule for some information we need in order to prepare this income statement. And in addition to that, we have a few line items in here that we're going to have to add in, namely what our total selling and administrative expenses were for the period. The amount that we paid on costs that couldn't be inventory, so administrative costs, advertising costs, etc. The others that we had, if you call that, which our case is interest expense of $1,000, and what our income tax rate is, and our income tax rate is equal to 30% of the company's income before income taxes. We have all the information we need to get to Marge's Sofa's bottom line, their net income, and like all income statements, we're going to start with net sales revenue. I'm going to go into the rightmost column right next to net sales revenue. I'm going to hit equals and I'm just going to go right to our T accounts and figure what our balance was of sales revenue at the end of the period. We had $46,000 of sales revenue from that one job that we sold. Let's bring that guy on over. Now we got to figure out what our COGS was for the period. We're going to use that beginning plus additions gives you what was available. Minus ending gives you what you actually in this case, sold, consumed. We're going to use that formula to figure out what our COGS was before we made the adjustment. So again, we are a new company. And with a new company, you can always assume that the beginning balance of your inventory accounts was zero. What did we spend making products which we finished to a sellable state during the period? That is our cost of goods manufactured. So I'm going to equals. I'm going to go to the COGM schedule over here and grab our cost of goods manufactured. We spent $33,000 in cost fi finishing jobs during the period into goods that we could actually sell. So if we had nothing to sell when the period started and we made $33,000 worth of stuff during the period, add those two together, we could have sold $33,000 worth of stuff. Well, what didn't we sell? Whatever the ending balance of our finished goods inventory account is. So I'm gonna hit equals, I'm gonna put a minus in here because I want this to be negative. And I'm gonna go to the T's. We have $15,000 in our ending finished goods inventory. So I'm going to hit enter after I click on it and bring that number over. If we could have sold $33,000 worth of stuff and we didn't sell $15,000 worth of stuff, what did we actually sell? We sold, add those two together, $18,000 worth of goods, which totally makes sense from our journal entries. When we made our one and only sale to sell the only thing we had during the period, we sold $18,000 for the stuff. That was our cost of goods sold before our adjustment. But we made an adjustment at the end of the period. We had over allocated overhead. What did we do in our last journal entry at the bottom? We reduced cost of goods sold by 100. Because cost of goods sold is an expense account, would go up on the debit side, but here we're crediting it, which is the side it goes down on. We decreased our cost of goods sold by a hundred bucks. So I'm going to go back to the income statement, and this is going to be equal to, we'll make it negative 100. So if our cost of goods sold was 18,000 before the adjustment, and we adjusted it down by a hundred, what was our actual cost of goods sold for the period? 17,900. Does that make sense with our T accounts? There it is. You're correct. The balance of our cost of goods sold is 17,900. We have it represented on our income statement. That only accounts for all of the costs of production. We need to figure out what our bottom line is. Well, the first thing, let's figure out what profit we made just accounting for the cost of production. Gross profit is and always has been and always will be sales revenue minus COGS. So 46,000. Minus 17,900 means that Marge Sofas made a profit of $28,100 selling stuff. Again, only accounting for the cost of production. Let's figure out what about all the other costs we had to pay, our selling and administrative expenses. Our information up here tells us their total selling and admin expenses for the period was 12,100. So if we had $28,100 left over after we accounted for the cost of production, and we had to spend another $12,100 on our period costs, that means that when we account for all of operation, both the production side and the administration side and the sales side, like everything all in, accounting for everything in our operations, we're left with operating income of $16,000. Let's go and figure out if we have anything outside 
the scope of our operations, making furniture, it could have increased or decreased our income. And right here we have that. We have interest expense of 1000 So we had $16,000 of profit, if you will, of income left after we account for all the course of operations. We had to pay another $1,000 for interest on an outstanding loan that we have, which means we have $15,000 worth of income left over after we accounted for all of our operating costs and all of our other costs. And that's the amount we have to pay taxes on. Our tax rate is 30%, which means our income tax expense is going to be equal to our taxable income, that 15,000 times 0 0.30. If we made $15,000 of taxable income and we got to fork 30% of that over to the government to pay for our taxes, the amount we're going to have to shell out is $4,500. So if we had $15,000 of income sitting around before we had to pay taxes, we cut a check to the IRS for $4,500. What do we have left? $10,500 worth of net income.